All right. The first time we see Noba, which is a mixture of Noma and Obi, it's in her office. Now, this is a nice-ass office right here. And she's on Yahoo News. Now, we need to get this article. Now, what I was telling you guys in the intro is that this crime, this bus actually happened a month prior. But we got to remember it's a TV show. But as I mentioned to you guys earlier, don't get mad at me. I'm only going off of what we see on the show. I don't make nothing up. If it's on the show, this is what we go off. So Noma's looking up NYPD narcotics team bus major tri-state drug supplier. And you see, this isn't the same day because it says January 12th. And that's exactly what he's wearing in the same photo, January 12th. So this is a month prior. Now it says on the morning of January 12th at the Brooklyn waterfront in the heart of Greenpoint, this is the same location we Googled. We looked this up last season. A specialized unit of the NYPD with jurisdiction over all five boroughs busted a major tri-state drug supplier. Over 100 pounds of cocaine was confiscated and numerous arrests were made. Something and in the hours which followed the bus, the specialized unit, the NYPD Narcotics Task Force, such Sutton, uh, probably led by decorated detective Don Carter, has made a huge impact. So the first scene that we have is actually a month prior, but maybe they just maybe they just wrote the date wrong on here. They weren't really thinking that people going to zoom in and look at the actual article. But hey, if it's on the screen, you better believe I'm trying to read to see what the hell is going on. This is from Yahoo no, uh, Yahoo News. This is a trusted news source right here. But she's looking at this and she's like, you see? This right here is an opportunity for us. The Russians are off the street. They can open this up. Now, we do hear OB saying, listen, I know a little bit about that pipeline. I think that we can finagle our way into that and start to, you know, saying be the number one suppliers. Now, excuse me. You got to remember. At this point. Hear me out. The only reason Noma and Obi, well, Obi's in the States because he was with the kids watching over the warehouses. I don't know if you picked up on this, but Noma said that there's something going on in Europe. They have to lay low in New York. Did y'all catch that this, uh, this episode? Noma said they are laying low in New York because something's going on in Europe. And I'm assuming since her husband was unalive and she was the one that did it, there's probably like a huge investigation going on over there. So they came to New York just to lay low and they won't be, you know, saying under the microscope over there in Europe. Lorenzo Jr. Lorenzo Jr. is Kane. Kane's real name is Lorenzo. So you got Lorenzo the dad and then Lorenzo Jr. is Kane. They just called him Kane, but he's Lorenzo. He's Lorenzo Jr. Yeah, Patrice. So, I mean, when you got snipers out there taking people out. Pew, 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 pew. So they came back to New York to lay low, which is fucking crazy. Like, you're coming back to New York to lay low because you're the biggest international arms dealer is unalive and you took over. And you go to New York to lay low, you need to go to down to like Colombia, Ecuador, something like that. You didn't get the fuck out of America. It's too easy to trace you over here. But Noma is up to something. Now it has me wondering how does Noma know that Obi has green cards? 
Like, is Obi that stupid to say, hey, I got the green cards? When he was working with Noma, that, that, see, this is everything that was throwing me off. Noma knows about the green cards, and he was like, no, nah, it was a legitimate me getting the green cards, doing the paperwork, found it. This is, this is legit. What is he running around? Hey, Noma, I don't need you no more. I got my green cards. Like, what is he doing? How does she know this? But then again, we know that he was running his mouth because he had an unalive two guards at the beginning of episode one because they even found out about the, the green cards. Obi ain't as slick as we thought he was. You see what I'm saying? It's like... It's just like little bitty shit. If I know you're helping me, if, if I know you're helping me out with something and I'm going behind your back with somebody you don't fuck with and they're going to help me out faster than you are, I'm not going to let you even know that I got what I'm looking for. You can continue to do what you need. And once you get them, OK, thanks. But I'm not going to use them because I already got them. So how did she find out about the green cards? Somebody's running their mouth. Somebody's running their mouth. Could it be Kane? Maybe it is Kane. Maybe Kane is, he's hearing shit too, and he's telling no one behind the scenes, and maybe that's why she has a little soft spot for Kane. I'm just trying to figure out how. But then again, you know, when I first got stationed in Georgia, I was a uh, so for enlisted. If you've never been in the military, enlisted, I was an E three at the time, and there was an E. She was an E six. I mean, I was a little bit old. I was what twenty six. I think she was probably like thirty two, thirty three, or something like that. But you know, you ain't supposed to really be, you know, saying fraternizing like that. But I didn't give a damn. You know what I mean? How many adults? She's an adult. It's consensual. You know what I mean? But she was like basically like the HR. So she knew everybody that was coming in. She knew like your files and shit, but I wasn't telling her nothing. So I'm trying to figure out what connection does Kane have? I was gonna say maybe Kane's telling Noma some information, but then again, it's like, nah, once they get up there, they be they be wanting they, they be wanting some loving too. Imagine she just killed her husband, some white guy that we didn't even think she was really into, because I definitely Anya, mm -mm. this right here, this that pure bread right there. No disrespect. This is that brown skin right there. Pretty brown, brown. Mm -mm -mm. They ain't got no white daddy. You got a black dad. You got a black mama. Mm. That beautiful brown. Mm -mm -mm. You can't do nothing with it. You can't do nothing with it. So I'm thinking that Noma's husband wasn't her actual baby daddy. You know what I mean? He's just the. He was just the rich guy that. He go sucker. I mean, brother. <laughs> you, you know, what I mean? he's one of those. He go sucker. I mean, brother. <laughs> <laughs> but now she didn't found out about these damn green cards. She talking about where you get them green cards. He's like, oh, no, I did this the right way, Noma. She's like, nah, Obi, I feel like you're bullshitting me right now. He's like, nah, Noma, I did this the right way. All right, we're going to see if you did it the right way or not. Uh, the next time we see him, uh, it's at the warehouse. Now, they're in there discussing everything that's going on. Noma got on this. I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. For Noma to be a boss, she need to take some notes from my girl, uh, Auntie Monet. You know what I'm saying? Mo and Mo, you know what I'm saying? Auntie Mo and Uncle Mo, you know what I mean? She need to take some notes, man, because whatever this suit is, I, I don't like this jacket, Noma. I don't know what it is. I don't like this jacket, man. What is this? Like, I don't, it's like, it's too shiny. It's like, what is this? This got to be some European shit. No disrespect to the Europeans, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all. I live over here now, but I'm just saying, this got to be, we don't wear this in the States. I don't know what this is. 
This is like, you know, when you put the plastic over the couch, like say you got that white couch, that white leather couch, and you put the plastic over it, and then you put the little heater gun on there to put the plastic, like put it all the way on there firmly. Like, I don't know what this is, but I don't think that this is appropriate. But they in the warehouse, and we know that Effie shows up. And Effie's like, listen, I want a big cut of the pie. And Nell and Nell said it's Tefeta, Tefeta. I don't know what the hell that is. It's a satin jacket. Yeah, there you go. Them twins, Polly and Esther. <laughs> High end fabric. Hey, the only the only fabric I know is cotton, cotton, polyester, and silk. That's it. Anything other than that, oh leather. But other than that, I don't know no other. I don't know nothing else. <laughs> Egyptian cotton. That's what I got on my bed. 1200 thread count. Silky smooth almost. But anyway, Noma sees Effie stepping up in here looking like she hawk And Noma, at this point, she doesn't really have too much to lose. We know the relationship between her and Obi is kind of rocky. We got the green cards. We got him trying to get him some cutty. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm I'm really feeling like Noma is losing any kind of trust or reliability into this man, Obi. It's a wrap for niggas. Now, Effie does have the proposition. And we went over Effie's story on she's going to go talk to the Russians. Now, Obi, you hear Obi. Obi in the corner talking about, what are you going to do that I couldn't do? <laughs> and Noma's like, shut the fuck up, Obi. You got 24 hours, Effie. You got 24 hours to make me a believer. We already went over that 24-hour calm down. I don't know if. I just don't work that fast where 20, I can get something done in 24 hours where you can actually trust what I'm like the work that I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Noma's like, all right, cool, cool. We can do that. We can do that. 24 hours. Now they send Effie out and say, Hey, I got some cutty last night. You didn't get no cutty. He said, I got some cutty last night. So I got me some cutty last night. Unc looked at me. He's like, you got some cutty? He said, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Damn, aunt. At least my man aunt graduated school. All right. So Effie goes out to talk to them. Oh, here we go. The showdown between Monet. Now, Auntie Mo shows up to the spot. This is where things start to get interesting. Now, Noma and Monet, they ain't it's hard to explain it. I, would this be a fair assessment? Would you guys say that this is a fair assessment? Noma is what Monet wanted to be. Can we say that? Is that a fair assessment? Noma is what Monet wanted to be. Onto that scale, onto that level. Are, can we can we can we all agree on that though? Because I mean, when we get when we get into um, Monet's store and we do the flashbacks, then it all start making sense. But we always knew that Mo wanted to be. That number one, but at some point in their life, she took a step. It's probably when she started having more kids because she was apologizing. Well, this ain't Monet's story. Let, let, my bad. We'll we'll get we'll we'll uh psychoanalyze Monet when we get on her story. But she shows up. Look at this. Let's see. Look at this. This is too far. Look at this. What is this? Is this is this waterproof? I know, I know. It probably costs a lot of money. Y'all probably saying, Mo, you can't afford it. You damn right. And even if I could afford it, I wouldn't buy it. What is this? 
This is, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. This is like a big plastic fucking. What is this? I know Noma didn't say, you know what? We stepping out tonight. I'm getting this big goddamn plastic jacket and we going out tonight. You know what I mean? I know, I know, I know. You know, I'm rocking, you know what I'm saying? I'm rocking, I'm rocking the Yeezy Vulture, which all it is is just a big ass piece of clothes. It's a fucking cut off. Shout out to Ye, because it was only $20. So I was like, man, let me go ahead and get it. It's $20. You know what I mean? I can't go wrong with spending $20. But golly, what, what the hell? Look at this shit, man. Maybe, maybe I ain't that good in fashion. You know, I get fly every now and then. Maybe I ain't that good in fashion, but. I got the I got the generic version of what, what she got on. Look. She got the she got the all white raincoat on, the rubber raincoat on. I got the all white, you know what I'm saying? The all white vultures on. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know what that is. I don't know that 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 that, that Fosace. F O Sache. But anyway, let's get back to the story because she's pissed. She's looking at Monet like, what the fuck are you doing here? Because remember, Monet was shot and she even told the gang, she told the gang, fuck Monet. Y'all number one priority is me. Y'all number one priority is getting out here in these streets. Finding out where Tariq is, making sure he don't eat. Mm -mm. But Don, thank you for that dollar ninety nine. Rockets who Monet wants to be, <laughs> Rockets. Exactly. Monet was on that. See, all right, we go. We, all right, let me let me get this done. We're gonna drop the link for Brillo, and we 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 gonna talk about Monet. I seen Zay say we're gonna probably be like forty minutes on Monet. See, we might talk about Monet for an hour. I got a lot of shit to talk about. But Noma is pissed that Monet showed up. And Monet's talking that shit. And whenever someone comes up talking that shit, usually the loudest person is the weakest person. Monet's talking about, oh, this is my hood. I run New York. Who the fuck are you? Blah, blah, blah. Obi's like, oh, shit, the Russians are here. Now, when the Russians show up, we know that that 24-hour timer was on. And look, Monet's pointing at the Russians. Who is Noma pointing at? Who is Noma right here pointing at? The Russians showed up. Noma ain't take her eye off of Monet. That's when you know there's a real issue. There's a real issue. Monet looked at the Russians because she felt like that was a bigger threat. Noma knows that she got Obi in security number one covering her. She is drawn down on Monet. Regardless of what happens, if anyone gets shot, she knows it's going to be one bullet going into Monet. Bottom. Okay, I knew it was V-something. Bottom. So Monet showed up. This deal was supposed to be between the Russians and Noma's, uh, I don't even know, it ain't no cartel, Noma's crew, you know what I mean? Noby and them. That's what we're calling Noby and them and <laughs> Bottom. But everything falls apart right here. Now, I know Effie's looking at it like, golly, man, what the hell? I was trying to set this shit up so we could goddamn get this money, so we can get out here and get this paper, so I can start making me some more money, because we know she's trying to get the hell up out of here, that opportunist. But sometimes in life, you got to take that opportunity. There was this white guy, very, very good rapper. I used to listen to him a lot. I know a lot of people say they don't listen to him, but shit, the motherfucker could rap to me. And he said, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow because opportunity comes once in a lifetime. And Effie is trying to take this opportunity. And Noma is not trying to blow this opportunity to expand 
her business because we know that the drug bust went down on January 12th, a month prior to February 22nd, where we're at right now. And Monet, who just got out of the hospital, discombobulated, can barely stand up on her own two feet. She's over here fucking shit up. On top of that, Noma's thinking, I got to look out for this nigga, Obi, who somehow got green cards when I was supposed to file for the green cards. And I ain't filed for the green cards, but now he got green cards. So Noma, she's thinking about all this shit. All this shit. And when you start having thoughts compound on top of other thoughts, on top of other thoughts, on top of this thought, with that thought... You kind of get sidetracked. You kind of get tunnel vision. And when you get tunnel vision, that's where shit can get ugly. And I'm talking about ugly for any and everyone. But luckily for us, Monet passes out and no one gets the hell up out of here. Now back at the house... Okay, they got a Basquiat uh, book here, and they got a Naomi book. Hmm. Hey, look, they got pre-made martinis over here. Dirty teenies right here. Shoot, if I pull up over here, let me get one of them martinis right there. Them things dry, though. Ain't got no ice. They've been, they been sitting out for a while. Fuck it. Yeah. Over here, well, ladies, y'all turn down free drinks. Me... I ain't turning down no free drink. You feel me? Y'all, y'all got drinks? What y'all? Let me see what y'all got over here. I'm getting one of the martinis. I'm about to sip on one of these martinis. Oh, y'all got some of that, some of this vodka? Let me get some of that vodka. I'm definitely, if it's free drinks, open bar, you know where you can find me. I'm at that bar. I'm getting my drink on until they tell us that the tab is closed. I'm up there. We used to have Christmas parties in the military. <laughs> We got an open bar from 9 to 11. I'm there at 845. I ain't never been on time to nothing in life. But they talking about an open bar from 9 to 11. I'm showing up at 845. First nigga in line. Let me get two drinks. <laughs> I drank one in the line while I'm waiting on them. You know what I'm saying? I walk off with my one. You know what I'm saying? And then I get right back in the line just to be social. And then I get me another two. Now we about four in. Now the eyes are getting a little lower. You know what I'm saying? Now you can get active. You can get active, but we still functioning just how we're supposed to. But Kane shows up over here, and Noma's like, what the hell are you guys doing? Going behind my back, giving up my guns, because we know that we have a whole shipment of guns that no one's ever dealt with. Remember, Obi was the one that said, Tariq, here's you guys' new supply of all these guns. Now, those guns didn't get moved like they were supposed to. Some of them did, but a majority of them didn't. And they got those new shipments in because they're laying low from Europe. So they had to bring all of, like, a majority of over over here, and it's just sitting. So Kane is like, listen. Kane is like, listen, we did a deal with the Russians, which is going to bring you in some money. She looks at him, and she's like, you don't make those calls. You don't make those calls. That's like when I open up the line for you guys to come on here and do predictions. Hey, man. Y'all can shine. You know what I'm saying? Don't outshine me. My boy got on here last night. My man gave us fucking four or five theories. I'm like, hey, yo, whoa, whoa. That's, hey, yo, you get you get two theories. You get the, he, he going down the list of characters. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Man, you need to go start your own YouTube channel. You, you, you that nice. You need to go to the I ain't no hater. I'm just going to guide you in the right direction. Hey, you start your own YouTube. You go here trying to give us five, six theories. No, 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 no. You give us one, two theories. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they ain't come on here to hear your theories. You go to your channel for that shit, man. Yeah, you get two theories. So now we see what Noma's feeling like. We see what Noma's feeling like. Kane came into the house talking about, yeah, we just set up some shit. We got to deal with the goddamn Russians. We got a whole new pipeline. We got drugs. We got opium. We got heroin. We got cocaine. We got guns, military grades. We got boats. It was like, whoa, 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 Kane. Who's the boss here? Who's the boss here? So she looks over. She looks over at Obi and she gives him the signal. Now, my signal is like, if I need somebody to choke somebody out, and I say, I'm talking about the power universe. I ain't doing this in real life. But my signal is like, if I do this, they get on their ass. If you ever see me do this in real life, I'm talking about in the power universe life, not in real life. 
you ever see me do this? Just be, hey, if I'm, if you talking to me and it sound like some bullshit and you see me do this, somebody about to get on your ass. That's my signal right there, right there. I'm telling y'all right now. So you ever see me? Yep, somebody about to get on your ass. So she gave Obi the signal. Obi put him in the headlock. Something that's gonna make life better for you. She like, let him go. Obi said, Would you like me to take it over for you, Noma? She said, No. What I want your ass to do, Obi, is get your ass the fuck up out of here. Kane over there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought that nigga Obi was about to kill me, but that nigga Obi been hating on me since season one. <clears throat> ah, yeah. ah, damn. Motherfucker, Obi, that nigga stronger than I thought. That motherfucker, I thought that nigga was a bitch ass. That nigga strong as a bitch. Damn, got a fucking crook in my neck. You trying to play it all because now Noma's talking to you. Noma's talking about so Kane. Since you want to discuss my activities when I ain't around, how about we discuss this over a bottle of scotch? And I, I ain't been on the I ain't I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't I ain't been in the game that long, but I know when you go over to a you know into a woman's house and she's like, hey, do you want a glass of wine? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Mo, you want some wine? You want red or white? Shit, whatever you drink, it'll pull up. You know what I mean? I'm not turning down no drink. You you bring white wine, we drinking white. You like red, I like red too. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, I like Belvedere. Oh, I like Belvedere too. <laughs> I do tequila, Mo. Oh, I drink tequila too. You know what I mean? Oh, I do yak, Mo. I do oh, yak. Sweet lady, would you be my sweet love for a lifetime? I drink yak in the morning and in the evening. Just call me la da da da. Yak lady. Oh, yeah, she told me she drinking yak. <laughs> Bring the bottle. You ain't even got a bowl up for me. I'm drinking out of the bottle, which I'm a sophisticated Negro. <laughs> yeah, you know it. You know I'm not. I ain't like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no connoisseur or nothing. You say red for beef dishes. Red is if she want red, I want red. <laughs> I don't care what dish we eat. We eat straight pasta tonight, but we got us some red wine. We drink a red wine. See, Miss Zoe, that's why I fuck with Miss Zoe. She love, I love some cognac. I used to sippy sip. Yeah, it ain't nothing wrong with a little sippy sip. Like, I, I just got me a little sippy sip. Just a little seltzer. Ain't nothing serious tonight. Just a little sippy sip. But anyway, let's continue on. Mm -mm -mm. I'm over here salivating. Now, her and Kane, they start discussing this over some. Uh-uh. I didn't even. Whoa, wait a minute, Miss Noma. Now, no one has showed up. She got the what was this called? The the bustier. Uh, I, I don't really know. I think it's called a bustier. Ain't that what Selena said? Anything for Selena. She had the bustier. The dad didn't want to wear. Ain't that what it's called? The well, I guess this is like a two belt buckle. I like that. I like when women wear like that high belt buckle that it ain't really like a belt buckle. The belt's nothing. You know what I'm saying? The belt's nothing. It ain't like a belt buckle that actually holds up nothing. It's just like the decorative. It's like it's like it's up. I like that. 
I like that. I ain't even noticed that Noma had this song. See, Noma took that jacket off, and the Noma then became a different woman. Yeah, she told me, let's handle this over uh, some scotch. Now, that whiskey, scotch, and all that bourbon stuff is a little too tough for me, baby, but shit. <laughs> you took that jacket off, I'm thinking we in a different stratosphere now. I'm sitting down, I'm sitting down with Noma. I'm sophisticated now. Look, I got the legs crossed. I'm sitting with Noma. So I was just thinking about diversifying, you know, saying your arsenal that you had. I see that you had all the military grade weapons. And I felt like if we were to push Effie out there in front of us and have her represent your organization, we have her actually deal hands on with the Russians. Then you and I, we could sit back. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those sit back lazy type of brothers. I'm the type of brother that's going to get in the streets. You can believe me on that one. You feel me? But the scotch, what is this? This is aged perfectly. Was it 27 years? Yeah, you got a good taste. You're a good woman, no I know when I first when I first laid eyes on you, no disrespect, because you know I was an employee at first, but when I first laid eyes on you, I knew that this was somewhere that I wanted to be. I felt like your organization was a home. Um, not knocking my family, like working for my father. You know, he was locked up, incarcerated for a couple of years, and then my mother was trying to take over, but I was pretty much on my own as the oldest child. Now, they used to call me Lorenzo Jr., but I took on my own persona of Kane because I was out here really moving that Kane. You know what I mean? So that's why you can depend on me. Uh, at one point, I got kicked out the house. And you see how my mom was acting earlier. Like, you got to forgive her. She just got out the hospital. Both her baby daddies. Well, you knew Mecca. You know what I mean? I know that's probably why your beef is with my mom, but. You know, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's you and her issue. That's women's stuff. You know, I don't want anyone to call me sassy and say that, hey, Mo is getting into women business. So whatever you and Monet got going on, that's between you two. You know what I'm saying? Y'all handle that. I'm I'm just liking the energy that we have right now. This vibe is unmatched. I've never been in a situation where I had a bossed up individual such as you, someone that knew what she needed, but needed someone on her side. Now, I'm not saying that. I'm your co-star. I'm your wingman. Nothing like that. I'm just saying. I know these streets a little better than you because I know you were over in Europe. Oh, what's that? Yeah. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. Very attractive, too. Nah. <laughs> no, this is nice, though. This is important. It's good. It's from Ireland. Oh, it's real nice here. So how long Obi been working for you? Oh, really? Yeah. So what you think? I overheard something about like some green cards. Oh, you were supposed to hook them up? See, I know you called that truce and everything on Tariq and them. Not to overstep my boundaries or anything. With all due respect, I just want to tell you, like my gut feeling is telling me Tariq is up to more than what he's coming off as. I mean, just think about it. He's running around with the little white boy, Braden Weston. You haven't heard, have you? Well, Weston Holdings was one of the biggest Ponzi schemes since Enron. Yeah. So there's a lot of fraud going on over there. And then the all cap, no frap, they were running it out of the warehouse. So it was drawing a lot of attention. And now you see why I'm so avid at trying to go get Tariq up off these streets. I'm doing this for you, Noma. This ain't for me. It is what it is. Yeah, I know Effie's still fucking around with him. But, you know, I'm a player. I don't trip off nothing like that. That is, that's just, hey, that's transactional right there. That's all that is. So I feel like what well, you and I got going on, we can make something happen moving forward only, you know, respectfully, if that's what you're trying to do. Now, I already see what's going on, and I'm hearing that Obi might be a nigga that's talking to the police. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> and said, that's snitching? Who am I snitching to? Who am I snitching to? Who am I snitching to? What? What's that you're doing? I'm just giving y'all the rundown. What I'm trying to do, hey, what I'm trying to get for y'all, I'm trying to get y'all in the game. We we didn't went from Noma story to Kane trying to work his way on up the ladder. That's what we trying to do. Telling all the Tariqs, no, 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 this was going over Ant's head. Let me let me break down exactly what I was just discussing. I was talking from the point of view of Kane. What is Kane trying to do? 
become the boss. What is Kane trying to do? Move in right next to Noma. We're trying to make us a power couple. Now, I have to gain my woman's trust. Now, if I'm talking to my old lady, if I'm talking to the woman I'm trying to be with and I'm trying to build with her, this is a snitching. This right here is solidifying our organization. You see what I'm saying? I'm letting her know, hey, I'm still trying to go after Tariq. And why isn't this snitching? Because there was a $100,000 bounty on Tariq's head. That's why I said I'm so avid of going after Tariq because I believe that Tariq is doing more nonsense than what he's letting off. That's what Kane was saying. You see what I'm saying? This ain't snitching. This is me talking to no one because I'm trying to build this dynamic duo right here. I'm trying to build a power couple. See, you could be running around the streets with Effie and dealing with the high school shit, the college shit. I'm over here dealing on the scale like of New York City and all of Europe. We trying to boss up over here. This is power. This ain't the shy. This is not the shy. We not worrying about what's going on at the local college. No, we trying to take this to a whole nother level. A whole nother level. Aunt, come on, Aunt, you know me. You know me, Aunt. You know me. I ain't about to be going out like that. I ain't going out like no idiot. I'm an OG. Exactly. QJ know what I'm talking about. Talking my way into no Charles. We trying to boss up. We trying to level up. This the dope game. This the dope game. Tariq ain't a competitor, though. At this point, Tariq is no longer a competitor. Remember, right now, Noma owns Tariq. Yeah, no need to mention Tariq, though. I'm business. You don't shit on the competitor to the customer. Tariq is no longer a competitor. Tariq is owned by Noma. The very... We got to do it. This is Noma's story. We got to do it. We got to get these facts laid out. We got to get these facts laid out. Now, I fuck with you, though, Aunt C. This is an open discussion. This is what we need here. This is what the power community has been waiting on. That's why I say this. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, boom. I'm really like that. Yeah. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, boom. I'm really like that. Come on, what the hell? I won't even. Tariq is no longer the competition. Tariq is owned by Noma at this point. Remember, they called the truce, but the the stipulations in the truce was Tariq was no longer allowed to move any work or do anything. At the beginning of this episode, don't worry, we about to go find it right now. Let me play this shit. Man, where's it at? Of course, Stars is acting up right now. It ain't letting me log again. Ain't that about a snitch? Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, but yeah, you're right. Kane is envious. But, you know, we giving it from Kane's perspective. You know what I mean? That's pretty much end of Noma's story. You know, I was going off on that. But, yeah, we, we good with that. I'm going to send Brillo the link. But just listen to this. Tariq is no longer the competition. Make sure y'all hit. 
you're new to the channel. Where is it at? 